What's up guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series uh, here on the channel. This is going to be interesting. So this is a brand new game. It's not like a big AAA title or anything. It's a smaller Steam game. It's kind of a work in progress, but uh, it's called Thief Simulator. So uh, I guess you start off as kind of like a, a low tier burglar. You're going to be busting out windows and taking people's stuff. You can work your way up. You get more items and, and ways to, you know, gadgets to break into things and reconnaissance and you start moving your way up into mansions and stealing high profile cars and stuff like that. So we're gonna see what this is all about. Should be kind of fun. Let's go ahead and start her up and uh, let's get it guys. Here we go. House number 109, you're coming up next. Is that age at 47? Man, life is a hitman. Must not be paying very well. All right, we got Vinny calling us. Hey, it's me, Vinny. Pick up that crowbar and listen up. We got a lot of ground to cover. Okay. The Lombardis paid you bail. They're generous men, but they're all about reciprocity, if you get what I mean. Let's see if you're up to the job. Knock over that house for me. The last one. All right, we could do that. Uh, we've got our quick slot tutorial. You can add items to the quick slot for fast usage. Go to inventory, select an item, and press the quick slot button. So we're going to open up our inventory, hit quick slot, put it up here, I guess. All right. Oh, and then tab, we can. Okay, nice, not too bad. So we want to break the planks. Ooh. It's broke into the backyard, all right. Sneaking allows you to make less noise, but it'll make you slower. Default to C. You can also lean space plus left or right. Okay. So we can crouch. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, that's how we lean. Okay. All right, got it. So we're going to sneak in here, make sure nobody can hear us. Or so oh, we got somebody in the house. Oh, she's looking outside. She has no clue. Okay. Light and visibility. While sneaking around at night, it's best to avoid well lit places. Your flashlight will also make you ease to spot. All right. Sounds good to me. Hey, so will cell phone. Left Stop calling me. Flashlight on the ground. Take it, but don't let nobody see the light and call the cops. Okay. So we're gonna pick up this flashlight. I'm gonna say let's um Oh, we can't quick slot it. Okay. Break the window. We don't have a glass knife or lock picking level four, so I think we're just gonna gonna have to smash it. Alright. What? Uh, good job. Time to redistribute a little wealth. Dude, this is crazy. All right, so what are we looking for here? Can we take all this stuff? Do we wanna, we probably wanna switch to hands, right? Oh, you can open things or you can open them slowly. I'll try to open whenever we can. Can't take any of this stuff. Oh, got some cash here. 15 bucks, throw it in the bag. We got a teapot. I'm gonna take that pot too, why not? What do we have here, what is this? Flashlight will help you look for loot in the dark. Remember you're easy to detect with the flashlight on. So we can, we can turn it off and on pretty quickly though. Okay, there's nothing in here. Dude, this is insane. It's a good thing there's nobody home. It says to steal some stuff. Old toaster, we could get 51 bucks for that? Time to bail, man. Get in the car. Don't let nobody see you with that crowbar. Okay. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing in these. So you definitely make a lot more noise when you, um... I'm just walking for a stroll. But yeah, you definitely make more noise when you open it quickly versus slowly. All the cars over there. Okay. There we go. We're good. 
Just going for an afternoon run. Open it, get in. <laughs> Wait, can you drive in this game? Unwanted attention. Unequip tools and turn off the flashlight to avoid unwanted attention from other people. Drive out of the location. We got 30 bucks worth of stuff. And that's our first job done, baby. Where do you want me to drive to? Like out of the, out of the map? Out this way. Nice! We did it! <laughs> I mean, we stole toasters and stuff, but. We got an A rating. Alright, looks good to me. Whoa, what is this? We're back at our little thief hideout? Okay. Good job, man. This just might work. Go get some sleep, and we'll pick this up in the morning. This is all we could sleep at is just on our bed. We've also got a computer here. We could buy different things. Oh, dude, this is crazy. Lock pick, climbing gloves, electric lock pick, car lock pick gun, car key signal cloner, hacking laptop. Bro, we got Black Bay out here. Steal your forums or rent a thug. <laughs> Bro, what in the world? All right, let's get some rest. We're gonna wake up bright eyed and bushy tailed. Let's do it. All right, so is it 11 o'clock right now? I would assume we want to sleep until like 8 o'clock the next night, right? A thief likes to work at night. All right. Check the computer. There's a few things I need to tell you. Okay. Dude, this is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Tools for thieves let you buy new kit online. But you might not have what it takes to use them all. Click on Steal Your Forum. Here you can buy secrets, hot tips on what's where, who's guarding it, who leaves the door unlocked, whatever. Check out what I wrote on Greenview 109. Okay. So these are all zero dollars. Easy to break the damaged wooden fence in the back. Old TV worth the buck. Spare door key in the drawer. Right. Now, go There's to your no one car. Home all the time. So we're gonna go to 109, the Martins. Oh gosh, that's kind of scary. That's that's my name. So we got these tips. Go hawk your loot at the pawn shop first. You'll need empty pockets at Greenview 109. Okay. So we're gonna get in. We're gonna do this. We're gonna select our our destination. We're going to the pawn shop. All right. I like the fact that you could actually drive and stuff. Welcome back. What's up, man? You don't look sketchy at all. All right, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna sell everything. It's time for Greenview 109. Get me that TV and don't pawn it off. I don't like the fact that we're like owned by this mob, dude. So we're gonna go back to Greenview Street, back to Greenview 109. We're starting off in the lower class neighborhood, you can tell, but I think you can eventually get up to like mansions and stuff. Alright, so it looks like 109 is going to be the, on the corner on the left up here. I don't know if it's smart to park our car. Just like... Right in the side of the road, but I do remember he said that you can break the thing in the back. Break the damaged wooden fence in the back. What is this? It's a hiding spot? Okay. Where's the damaged fence? Ah, oh, right here. Okay. And there's never anybody home, so we don't really have to worry about anything else. Alright. I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to get it in without breaking uh breaking the window. So we can do that. Here we go. Nothing really in the bathroom. Can't open up the fridge. I'm gonna take the toaster. Pot. Sauce pinch. Should we leave this on? I don't know if we should leave it on or not. I don't want people from the street to be able to see it. But I guess there's nobody really close to us. There's the key. 
It's got an old TV. That is an old TV in here, dude. Ooh, big items. Steal a big item TV printer, etc. Put it in the car's trunk and drive home to sell the big items that Paul you need to first. You need to put them next to the shop owner. Okay. Shoot. So the question is, I was wondering if we could just walk down the street with our TV and just act like we're moving, but I guess at night it would be pretty sketchy, huh? So we're not gonna do that. There it is. Close the back door. We're out of here. Alright. Now we just need to leave the area. As long as we leave the neighborhood, we're good to go. This thing is an old hunk of junk. I'm hoping we can buy a better car. I feel like we need like a a big truck or an escalator or something to be able to carry more stuff. But uh, we're going to go back home. He said he didn't want us to sell it to the pawn shop. Got another five star. We have some skill points to spend. I see you got my screen. Go to Black Bay. Okay. So we're going to be able to sell it on Black Bay? That's what I'm assuming. Go to Black Bay I set here. up a page on there for the TV. Go there and sell it. All right. So probably an electronics, old TV. 60 bucks for that thing? Bro, yeah, there's no work. way. Now, click on the Rent a Thug tab. Now here you can find a little extra work. I put one on there just for you. The one with the dishes. The bakers? 50 bucks to break their dishes? Okay. Now, drive back to 110 and break some dishes with the crowbar. Okay. So we're gonna go back to Greenview. We kinda have to go to the pawn shop too. We've got some, some stuff. I'm assuming that you've got limited space in your bag, but let's go to Greenview first. <laughs> So you can steal stuff, but you're also you're you're for hire to go and like rough people up. All right, so we're gonna go to 110, which is next door to the last house that we were just at. We'll park on the side of the road again. Question is, how are we gonna get in this house? Can we hop over the fence? Yeah, dude, I'm not seeing anything anything on this back side. We might have to go out front. Might have to walk in the front door and break a window or something. There's nobody over on this side, though, which is good. Can I close this behind us? Is your front door unlocked? No. We need a lock pick, man. It's locked. All right. Um... Surprised that doesn't make more noise. We do have somebody crossing the street in front of us, but we do have high hedges and stuff, so I think we're good. Oh, our inventory is full. I knew we should have gone to the pawn shop. How do you see inventory? Loot. We've got 11.3 weight right now, a max of 15. We gotta get a bigger backpack, bro. Okay, so it wants us to break their dishes, though. We're gonna do that. I'm just trying to see if there's anything useful that we can steal. There are there dishes? No money in there this time. We'll check the bathroom. Nothing in here. All right. I we did it. Heard you don't even know how to pick a lock. Go learn the basics. I'm sure you've got enough skill by now. Welcome back. Excuse me, sir. Um. I need you to take all my stuff. Wish we would have done that earlier because we could have grabbed that second toaster. Although hopefully soon we're not going to be stealing toasters. I feel like that's a pretty, pretty basic thing. We're going to head back home here. And um, I think, didn't it say we can learn things on the computer? Steal your forums. How do you learn things? Is it in your inventory? Oh, skills right here. Skills, okay. Lock picking one. Learn it. Great. Looking good. Now, go buy yourself a DIY simple lockpick on Tools for Thieves. Okay. So we're going to go to Tools for Thieves. Uh, DIY simple lockpick. We've got 186 bucks right now. It's going to cost us 20. We got that. Before you get yourself into trouble, 
Try it on a training lock. I left one in the garage. Okay. We can do that. You need to find the right angle with the bobby pin, then rotate the lock. The closer the pin gets to the correct angle, the more the lock will rotate. Not too bad. Good job on that old TV in the empty house. For a real job, you gotta scope the joint. Go to 111 by 7 a.m. and watch. So we're gonna go up. We're gonna take a rest until 6 a.m. We're gonna go be at 111 by 7 a.m. And we're gonna be able to look for this guy and hopefully get his, uh... Get his routines done. All right, so we're gonna go back to Greenview Street. This is kind of cool. So there's a lot more to it than just simply break it in. You gotta do some recon, scope out the location, and do missions for other people too. We're really starting on this one little corner of houses, man. I feel bad. We're hitting them over and over. Ooh. A pretty serious, uh, pretty serious turn. I feel like you shouldn't be able to just leave your car on the side of the road, but we're going to go for it. All right. I think he wants us to come up here so we can watch these guys. There's a box in there. Wait for them to leave and get me that box. Wait, maybe you can't just leave your car anywhere. Car parked in a strange place. Yeah, all right. So we're, we're going to park in an actual parking lot over here. And then I think, I think we can sleep in our car. Um, I think around 11 a.m. is when it was gonna be. So let's go back over here. Yeah, they're out. They're not gonna be out for very long though. Hold on. Shoot. Can we just hop over? How are we gonna get in? They got bars on the windows too, dude. How are we gonna get in? Oh, we can use the, the lock. All right, here we go. Oops. Got it. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. We're gonna get this box in here. Is there anything else we could take? No, no, we're going, we're going. So we got the box. I'm gonna take his TV as well. Hold on. Let me drop that. I'm gonna check in here. He's got beer and shoes, radio, pants, pants, baseball cap. More of that stuff. All right, here we go. Gonna wait for this guy to walk by in front of the house and then we're gonna dip to the car, dude. Is that them coming home? I think that might be them coming home. Throw it in there. Close it. Let's get out of here. We waited a little bit too long, dude. Run. Run, 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 run. Whew. We didn't have nearly enough time for that as we could have. Whew. All right, I'm gonna go, uh, let's go pawn shop. I'm gonna go pawn shop. We're gonna get rid of this TV. Got some more skill points. I'm gonna grab this thing, take it into the pawn shop. What's up, sir? Welcome back. Throw my, how do I throw my TV on here? What you got for me? 40 bucks. You don't want that junk? What about the radio? Boom. All right. So we're gonna shut this, hop back in the whip. And we're back here at the garage. We're gonna hop on Black Bay and that's how we're gonna send this thing. So Black Bay, um, other box with shady content, sell it. 
Ooh, old guitar, that'd be kind of nice. Need to get that item, 300 bucks is a lot. The Lombardis think their friend on Greenview needs a new window, but they think the one they got's fine. Go prove them wrong. All right, break a window at 112, then hide or run away. <laughs> I like how we're just like, some of this stuff is just like petty, like go break their plates, bro. Go break a window, make them pay for it. All right, 112, where you at? Making our way around this block, I guess. I do like that there's actually like a, a good story mode too. Not good, but there is a story behind it, which is kind of cool. So yeah, you do have to park your car in good places. Um, you should honestly probably park it in the parking lot down here. Trying to park it nicely so it looks legit. We're a little bit crooked, but that'll work. All right. So we're going to run up this way to 112. Oh, they've got big steps. Okay, we're starting to get, get into the higher profile houses, man. Here we are, 112. What window? Did you just want me to break any window? Was there a specific window? Okay. Gotcha! Oh, let me put this away. We gotta hide or we gotta run away. I'm running back to the car. Oh, shoot. We got the cops coming this way, though. Okay. Yeah, we are gonna be able to go that way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got cops over there, too. No, this is not good. There's a... I don't want to hide in the dumpster next to the house. Bro. We're gonna get back to our car. Hold on a second. We're okay. We're just going for a leisurely stroll. Just a dude with black gloves. No big deal. Okay, they're coming this way. Hold on a second. I'm dodging them, boys. They're all around our car, though. That's the problem. It's out. It's out. We're good. Are you kidding me? We gotta find a place to hide. We got a dumpster or something. We need one. Dude. They are all over the place. Hold on. This is insane. We should have hidden that first dumpster we saw. I was thinking we were gonna be able to run back to our car. Why aren't these guys going to the scene of the crime? We got a hiding spot. Okay. We're gonna be okay. I don't know why the cops didn't go to the scene of the crime. Nobody's been to the house that was burglarized yet, but. We're safe in a dumpster. Got a leveling up tutorial. Students have returning home with loot gives you experience points. The first time theft will give you 10 times more experience. All right, looks good to me. So we just, we just sit in here. We're down to one star now. They're starting to move. They're just circling our car. They're like, that guy parked kind of sideways. We're gonna stick it to him. Oh no, they're done. Are we gonna leave? Yeah, we're good. All right. Just back out for a leisurely stroll. You boys gonna head back to the car? That was way too close for me for one day. We're gonna go ahead and start her up and let's GTFO, dude. Oh my goodness. This is actually pretty fun. Like, there's more to it than I thought there was gonna be. And, uh, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. We're just getting started. I mean, that, that house had a, an alarm on it, so obviously we're gonna have to learn to get around alarms and all kinds of stuff like that. So we're gonna head home. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed and you guys want to see more. And uh, I guess I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.